Hey guys, Lord Dino Four here again with my friend the Iron Golem. Uh, we are here to bring you another tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be doing a video on how to make a spiraling lava and water tower. Uh, this is the uh, tower that I pre-built. Uh, take a look. I want you to take a good look at it. See if you like this. If not, um, I'll make a couple of other videos on how to make alternates on this, like making it round and stuff. Uh, so, you know, just subscribe, that'll come later on, but still. Uh, yeah, so, it's pretty neat, I discovered this while building on Flu's Crafts old server, Flu'stopia, which is now disconnected. Uh, you can use this in a bunch of different ways, you can use it solitarily, or you can use it in a fort-like design, which is my favorite way to do it. So let's go inside here. You can clearly see that I'm using the new blocks that came in 1.2. Let's go inside. I did not mean to do that. Okay, uh, there are a bunch of materials you need to start building these. Um, let me get up here. I'll show you what's in the chest. Okay, you will need a building material such as stone bricks or cobblestone and or cobblestone. You can use stone bricks instead of cobblestone but I just like to do an alternate pattern like that because I think it looks nice you'll need some brick stairs and some brick slabs uh, also uh, you will probably when you get to the top up here need rather iron bars or glass planes you can also you're also going to need a bunch of glass but uh, yeah just need get a bunch of glass like go strip mine a desert or something you're going to need lava and water or alternately you can take the lava out and replace it with glowstone or you can just use lava glowstone and water all together but that's completely optional uh, then you will need stone at the top if you want you can do any other material I really don't have any opinion on what material you use at the top for the platform and these are just the uh, optional designs you can also make this out of wood which I will not be doing in this tutorial but I might do it later or something you can use wood planks instead of stone bricks. Then use any type of wood instead of the cobblestone. Stair, you know, it's proportionate to everything else, including like um, at the top where instead of using iron bars, it would be more appropriate to use glass planks. You can also you need to use glass, but uh, as you, we all know, lava burns stuff. So unless you're working on a server where uh, you're not going to risk things being burned by lava, just don't even mess with lava on a wooden uh, tower just use glowstone and you can replace the stone with the grass block that's just my opinion you can also use dirt or whatever and uh, I also think it'd be pretty nice if you could add some leaves to it like uh, around the top make it look like a tree so let's get started on this tutorial um, there will be two versions of this there will be the version that's used for a fort on the corner and the one that's just solitary like this one uh, so let me go ahead and get started with the design. I'll be right back. All right, so to get started, you're going to need an 8x8. Eight eight. Uh, this is two on each side right here. Just count it. I like to count it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the eighth one, don't count this as one. Start with two. Two. Okay, so instead of one, don't count this at all. Just say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just what I do. You can do it any other way you want. That's just my opinion. Okay, just speed forward. All right, now I've got your basic design. Uh, well, not basic design, basic shape that you're going to use. Uh, if you want, you can place some doors right here or some fence gates, whatever you choose, like that. But I'm not going to use fence gates. I'm going to use uh, some doors, which I haven't tested out the new system for uh, double doors with redstone, uh, but I'll do that later. Don't need to get into anything new right now. You can replace the floor with anything you want. I'm this time. I'm going to use not that. That'll burn. I'm going to use sandstone. So yeah. And after you've replaced the floor, let's start adding the uh, design that you're going to need. I'm going to do this with cobblestone this time instead of uh, instead of the uh, stone brick, just because I feel like. Uh, doing a little bit of something different you know just like last time I put stone brick on the floors now I'm using uh, 
sandstone. Okay, after you've done that, uh, what you want to want to do is make an outline right here. Now, normally I use glass because that allows for the light to travel through it and affect the water and sort of make it shine in the darkness, which I'll show you. Uh, go in not controls. Go into video settings. I'm using the Optifine mod, so you can change it to stuff like night only and uh, see what's going on right here. So it sort of illuminates the water just a tad bit instead of making it completely dark. But if you don't feel like using the uh, glass, you can use cobblestone instead like that. So that's the alternate that you can do just in case you're a little bit poor and you don't have a desert to collect sand from or enough tools to gather the sand. And I'll pour an iron golem over there. I think I need to give him something to kill, but I'll do that at the end, at the end of the video, just for a little special thing for you guys. Poor iron golem. He's so lonely. He's called hunched over. Oh, it's just so sad. And now we're ready to start pouring in our liquid, or as I'm going to do it this time, I'm going to do a try effect right here. Not well, try effect. I think that's the name of the game or something. No, what I'm going to do is three types of materials. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Glowstone. See, I'm gonna do glowstone, then water, then lava. But you can do this any way you want. You don't have to necessarily do this. You can do uh, you can do purely water. You can do purely lava, or you can do a lava and water combination like that. It's up to you, really. Um, I'm gonna use water on. Uh, I mean, not water this time. I'm going to use glowstone as the first starting block. And as you may have noticed over here on the uh, panels uh, on the outside, you can see that the lava is showing on the uh, outside right here. Now, this isn't going to be the same for the fortress uh, tower, so keep that in mind. Now, it shows the alternate, alternating uh, liquids. I'm just going to use glowstone for that. Instead of putting liquid right there, I'm just going to use the glowstone instead. Anyway, actually, you know what? Let's just start it off with lava. This, I'm not lava. Why am I keep saying lava? I'm such a screw up. Uh, count up to five just so you'll have some background to work with because it'll make it a ton easier. Just trust me on this one. After you've done that, which is this is should be really what the first first thing you should do after you've pro uh, provided the outline on the ground is. After that, you want to put a block on the first part of the liquid right here, all on always on the left side. So keep just go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. Now, note how I did that right there. That's the end block right there. Um, when you have one on the left, just one on the left, nothing on the right. Like if it were uh, one lava right here and one lava right here, you'd place it right there. That's the end block. That's just where it stops. Oh, poor Iron Golem. I, just, I, I love him. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, just keep going like this. Place glass on the corners like this. Now, if you come to an area right here um, and there's lava right here, a block right here, and you've got a corner on this side with... Uh, where with the lava being right here of course right here then you want to have glass right here otherwise you uh, you would do something else which I'll show you when I get to it sorry if I sound a little bit confused um, this is the first time I've ever had to really explain this it, it just seems so simple to me I don't really feel like I have to explain most of it I, some of it will just come off naturally but I feel like if I don't explain it someone's going to complain to me in the comment section comment section uh, here's a perfect uh, example. Okay, um, if there was lava going that way, but you know what? I think it would be better if I just showed you. But if there's lava going that way, then you'd put that block right there, and then these two blocks on it. I'll I'll give a better example later, uh, which should be coming up soon. Hold on, let me speed through this. Okay, here it is. Um, this is the example I'm looking for. Okay, so there's the Lava is going that way. Um, there's nothing right here. There's no liquid right here. So in order to complete this, you're going to have to put one stone block right here 
or uh, wood plank and another one right here and then the cobble or glass right here and that's how you uh, complete that section and keep going as you may know this is where the first part of that uh, panel on the side begins now I said I was going to do this with glowstone which is exactly what I want to do. Pretend that there is nothing right here at all. That there's no, never going to be any liquid right here. That this is actually just a part of this uh, part of the wall. Okay. Put glowstone on it like that. Both sides too. See, it's going to look nice. I promise. Okay, here's another example right here. Uh, one block right here. I feel like I hear slimes appearing, but it's unpeaceful, so that can't be happening. Anyway, one right there, one right here, and then finally a block right there. Ta-da! Just think of it as a corner piece. Just add these corner pieces when they, uh, one, it's got one block right there at the corner. One block of block. Now, normally, right here, there would be a uh, block of glass, but instead of that this time, I think it would just be best if we added stone. I'm just thinking. Okay, now this would be the last section right here. Uh, normally, this would be where you would stop if you were doing a little bit of a short... Uh, off the ground sort of homeish type building but um, if you want to do it like me you can you go up to 15 blocks high uh, let me finish this up real quick and I'll show you what I mean okay like I was saying before um, this would be normally where you would stop and uh, build the top of your house but um, we're not going to do a house, we want to do a fort this time, hypothetically. So you would add another five of these. And that would be uh, where you would stop after that uh, for a little tiny, tiny fort. Uh, but that's what you do, you add another layer and then start building onto it. Um, but I think I'm going to stop right there. Uh, I'm not going to go any further than where I am at the moment because I feel like uh, if I do, it'll make the tutorial even longer than it needs to be. We don't really need a long, long tutorial. We just need to get the point driven home on how to build this. So let's just tear this down. Oh, and I figured out what that weird sound I was hearing was. It was the new sound for the lava. Hold oh my god, my phone. My mother f***ing phone. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was awkward. Sorry about that. Anyway, well, like I was saying before, my phone rudely uh, interrupted me with an epic sax guy. Uh, the sound I was hearing was the lava when it would shoot up coals. Like, I'll let you, oh, let's just watch for a second. Should happen any second now. Maybe if I turn my back. There, did you see it? Did you see the little ember? Yeah, that whenever it produces an ember, that's the sound it makes now. Anyway, so a little, now that we've made our little, made it to the top, we're going to add a stone or whatever material you want to use. Heck, I don't care. Use snow if you want. I don't know if it melts over, uh, melts over the uh, lava, but we're going to use snow this time because I just don't care <laughs> well, I do care it's just that I don't really care you know I just want to drive the point home you don't have to follow everything I say be independent for yourself have free have a free mind and think for yourself flow in your ways of building and you know don't be too restricted to your plane of existence and, and of course, my phone foo throw does me right in the middle of me talking, uh, giving a good speech. Yes, my phone foo throw does me. 
After you've built the top, you should have a little hole in the center right here. Uh, this would be where you'd come up this, uh, the ladders, like this. Yep, like that. And be sure you don't, you know, put stray ladders everywhere. And that would be where you'd... Oh my god, did I really do that? Howie, that would hurt if this was real life. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... People are going to go nuts if I don't fix this, so here we go. No, not that. That. Okay. Put the put these on the side. Just do it for every side. Put this, I'm not sure what it's called, sculpting, molding, whatever, on the side, each point. And that should do it for the uh, molding right there. That's what it should look like. Yep. Make sure you've got it looking like that. And then you're going to have to add some more stuff. These little corners right here. Uh, this is a little interesting because uh, I'm going to imply, um, implement, or whatever, the new thing that Notch did for uh, Minecraft. He made it to where you can place stairs upside down if there's a block above them. So I'm going to have to add one just real quick. Um, I'm going to skip a few steps and do it. like that then you can add beneath it like this it's pretty cool I think uh, you know it's like I said free your mind be yourself do what you think is right and stuff but you know I add this just to make it look decent and keep going around uh, until every corner has one of these builds on it like this and that should do it then put little half slabs on them and they'll look sort of like little teddy bear men hugging their arms out at you and stuff if that was if it was the fact that this wasn't here and then add some stairs for decoration for a decorative roof up here hold on I, I can't get used to this hovering thing and then add another layer start with some stray block like this and then put another half slab on top of it and go from there do it for all the corners and then finally add your roofing I suggest using the same building material that you use the steps on you know for consistency And there you go, you have your first little mini fort right there. Now, you can add as much as you want. Like I said, prior to building the top of this, you can just keep going up layer by layer by level layer, just keep doing it by five, because the maximum height will be one above that. Um, you can rather end up with an odd or an even number. Like uh, if you went up 20, you'd get 21 at the end of it. And uh, yeah, so I think this makes a really nice looking uh, decorative home if you want it be right here you can also just use it for a uh, tower if you use it the right way and I don't know why that closes the doors um, I'm just gonna make a few suggestions for what you can do in front of your house your new uh, tower home thingy uh, use these little new stone bricks in the shape like this and uh, I think that makes it look a little bit more decorative but, you know, it's all up to you. Oh, there's one last thing I forgot. The iron bars. <laughs> How could I forget this? Uh, you can add iron bars right here. And make it sort of look like you're about to snipe someone. This is sort of like your sniper nest or something. Or if you can add some glass panes. and oh, Did I really just do that? Add some glass panes right here. Panes. <laughs> I like saying that for some reason. Panes. P -p 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 -pans. -na 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 -na. Na -na 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 -na. Make it sort of look like a homish environment. Of course, it would mean that you'd have to remove the stairs that I you would normally put if you uh, had the iron bar. So, that was, that's just your a, 
bit of an alternative. Right there. Right there. On cue, Mr. Staircase. Ah, dang it. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Of course, there is going to be another tutorial on this. It's going to be the one for how you do it with a fort. I'm sorry if I disappointed you right now. I, I will definitely put a link at the beginning of the video. And if I can find... There it is. I'm so stupid sometimes. And if I can do this, I'm going to put a link here. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been the Lord of Dino 4, the Mastermind, signing off. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends if they are looking for some sort of building tutorial on a spiraling tower of some sorts. Uh, you know, I, I really do hope that you like this video. Um, I will see you guys next time on the next tutorial for how to build a fortress tower thingy. And, uh, yeah, bye, guys. Fight! Impressive. Flawless victory.